As the clock ticks closer to legalized medical marijuana in the state of Alabama, cities across the state are having heart to heart discussions about it. It's a topic taken up by two Baldwin County City Councils just last night. The question before them, do we want a medical marijuana dispensary in our city? NBC 15's Darren Singleton has their answer. It's the subject being handled with kid gloves in city council chambers across Alabama. The approval of setting up medical marijuana dispensaries in city limits. At last night's meeting, Spanish Fort Mayor Mike McMillan approached to vote on the subject with this reminder. If you know, this is approved by state level and, uh, you know, this is not approving marijuana use of anything. This is strictly a medical uh, situation. The result of that vote in a moment. Meanwhile, 45 miles to the south in Gulf Shores, Mayor Robert Kraft took trepidation one step further, anticipating feedback from those who approve and those who don't. So what I've decided to do is, is put a medical ca cannabis committee together to start you know, well represented to have some conversations within the community to help us come to a conclusion of whether we that is the right thing to put here or not. Both city councils will quickly tell you saying yes to medical marijuana dispensaries will not create a cloud of concern because the state law allowing it prevents selling products that can be smoked. Unlike Florida, patients prescribed the drug in Alabama can't be sold cannabis flower material or even cannabis-infused edible products under the new law. So what can be sold? Tablets? Capsules, tinctures, oral gels, topical oils or creams, suppositories, patches, nebulizers, or liquids or oils for use in an inhaler. Back in Spanish Fort, there was no discussion from the council nor the audience. The resolution is adopted. The measure passed unanimously with the understanding the city's zoning commission would have the final say over where such a dispensary would be located. And the delicate conversation about medical marijuana dispensaries continues, this time in Fairhope, as leaders there take up the issue again next week. Darwin Singh. Singleton, NBC 15 News. Well, just last month, Daphne City leaders unanimously approved a resolution to allow medical marijuana dispensaries.